One life lesson we're taught as a kid is to never take candy from a stranger. With Utah Tech offering free treats, food, and drinks to students nearly every day, it wouldn't be hard to come across dangerous or unexpected substances through these seemingly trusted sources. I'm about to go fake roofie students on campus to test out this theory, to spread a message of awareness, and also to see what they're doing to stay safe and precautionary. Let's go. Have you ever considered that these free handouts could be someone trying to roofie you? I mean, not the first thing I think of when I'm handed a piece of candy, but honestly, probably, probably should be a little more careful. What do you do to stay safe on campus or anything to be precautionary? I mean, really, like, because I, I come from California originally, right? So compared to that, Utah's actually been pretty safe so far, so I'm not necessarily on, like, high alert when I'm walking through campus and stuff, but... Next time you take a free handout, will you be more careful? We have a really safe campus here at, uh, um, at Utah Tech, so... But I guess from now on, I'll try and be more careful. Have you ever considered that free handouts off of campus could be roofing? Uh, honestly, you have to take all precautions. You know, you have to understand what you're getting handed. Don't take anything from anybody you don't know. What do you do to stay safe and precautionary on campus? Uh, pretty much you just use situational awareness. You know, you just be aware of what's going on around you. Not to the level of where you have paranoia, where people are out to get you. But, you know, you just stay alert. You know? Will you continue to be careful and aware of your surroundings after this conversation? Uh, yes, so, like uh, tying your shoes or riding a bike. It, once you learn it, you can't unlearn it. You know, you just be aware. Have you ever considered that the free handouts on campus could secretly be roofied? Um, no, I don't think I have. Why not? Uh, usually when someone hands me something, it's like, okay, cool, and takes it. <laughs> Great. What do you do to stay safe, or take? what do you do to take precautions while you are on campus? I'll like kind of walk in the same path that the campus police are on. I don't really think about anything when people hand me candy. So I was just like, sweet, thanks. <laughs> yeah, for college students. <laughs> um, now that you guys continue on with your lives and campus continues to hand out free treats, are you gonna be a little more careful or considerate of who's giving it to you? Yes, yeah, definitely. I reached out to Carly Myers, a student engagement coordinator at Utah Tech, to see what it takes to have a booth and how students are kept safe. Carly states that there are various departments across campus that must give approval to have a booth outside including central scheduling, safety and risk management, campus dining, and facilities. All of these departments ensure a safe campus for students so fun things can continue to happen and fun stuff can be given out to students. For Sun News, I'm Taylor Taft.